god, we won, dude! Oh my god. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. It is an absolute pleasure to virtually be here with all of you tonight. The amount of da'wah we've done by merely working with so many non-Muslims, embracing and acknowledging the Muslim identity through United States of Al is enormous. And thank God this is the Impact Awards, because if I said any of that elsewhere, the headlines would scream, and I mean scream, Sharia law creeping its way into Hollywood. And quite frankly, I don't think we need that right now. As you know, Hila, that has been our agenda from the start. Working on this show has been an absolute dream come true. I mean, we both grew up in the 80s watching sitcoms, Lots of sitcoms. but I don't ever remember seeing, you know, any sitcom character pray the way Al does, or for that matter, burn his family. Nope, never seen that. In Abu Amir, or Al, we have the first Muslim protagonist on broadcast TV ever. Al is not a good Muslim or a bad Muslim, you know, those. He's just a regular dude trying to do regular things and adjust to his new life. That, as you know, is not easy to pull off. To do that, we knew we would have to build a different kind of writer's room. That's why half our staff joined the Writers Guild as a result of working on our show. And behind every good character is a handful of talented writers. But in my case, I needed more. I needed a linguist, body language expert, and a stunt double. That's me. But in all seriousness, this show has allowed us to present a male Muslim character who is funny, good-looking, very religious, who loves his family and his country, and who has good for everyone in his heart. One of the most meaningful moments for me was getting to name a character after my father. I flew from LA to Florida to watch that episode with him. Well, I mostly just watched him watch the episode and hear his name said on television for the first time ever, pronounced correctly, Qasem. He was also very happy that we cast him so handsomely and accurately. My 12 year old niece came up to me after watching United States of Al. And she said, Zarokhala, I heard Pashto for the first time on TV. That's the language my grandparents speak. And that's the language I speak. It was right there and right then that I realized that United States of Al has done its job. To make a child born and raised in the United States with Afghan roots feel connected to characters on the screen. It's such a, an honor to play Gulbashra, to present my language, my native language of Pashto on screen. It means a lot more because Pashto has always been vilified. Pashtuns have always been vilified. And United States of Al is changing that narrative. One of my favorite moments from the show is when Al is responding the garage to ward off the evil eye because it's such a specific Afghan family mom experience. My mom continues to do it every time I go home. That's why I don't have a lot of evil eye around me anymore. It's very effective, guys. That, and to be in an episode of the show where I was part of the first Afghan family depicted on a network television show, which seems insane, but very exciting to be a part of that moment. It's been such a pleasure to get to play an Afghan American on network television for the first time in an almost 17 year career. Yep, I'm often told that uh, I don't look Afghan enough. Anyway, it really is such a joy to be on television playing an Afghan, not in a geopolitical narrative, not as a terrorist, not as a tyrant on primetime TV, just as a girl trying to get a boy to understand her. To be able to portray Qasem, a loving, decent Afghan father on network TV has just been um, really incredible for me. And then to sit down and watch the show with my family and the laughs we've had, and especially at the scenes where Adir and I get to talk in Dari, and they can't even believe they're watching it. To watch Adir tackle both Dari and Pashto in the way he has on top of everything else that he has to do, um, I mean, hats off to him. Thank you, Impact, for recognizing the United States of Al. And thank you, Warner Brothers, CBS, and Chuck Lorre for making this all possible. Without the amazing staff, crew, and all of you, none of this would have been possible. We are honored to accept the 2022 Media Award that recognizes voices of courage and conscience. Thank you so much. Happy 30th anniversary, Impact! Yay! Like us, they're millennials! Belly. Thank you, Impact, and happy anniversary. On behalf of the entire cast and crew at United States of Al, 
We thank the Muslim Public Affairs Council for blessing us with such a distinction. Bismillah to more moments like this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.